Hello, everybody, and definitely welcome back. It's been a great week. Um, I'd like to thank you all for your continued support and encouragement. Some of the great comments, suggestions, requests, all that kind of stuff. Keep it coming. Uh, love hearing about it. And I'm so honored to say or feel that I've helped you either get started with the guitar or maybe provided you with the motivation to pick it up again or help smooth out a few wrinkles in your ongoing journey, all right? Either way, I'm humbled and thank you so much. So today, what I thought we would do is take a look at, this is for upper beginners and intermediates, but you beginners, please take a look, okay? It's not overly overwhelming. It might seem complicated, and rightly so, because you are a beginner, and you're not expected to know this stuff. But take note of it, because it's not, depending how much work you put into this, it's not far down the road for you, all right? And what we're going to look at today is movable chords that we've talked about before, and how we can sort of interlace them with our regular cowboy chords. And it's just a great way to practice reforming your chords elsewhere on the neck and you might be surprised some of the really cool melodies or you know overall stuff that you can get out of it right so let me show you what I'm talking about so let's start with the D D major chord we keep the same fingering and we simply move it all the way so that I'm going to move my first two fingers to the seventh fret dot right okay and I make sure that those two fingers stop where the dotted fret is there. The ring finger is right there a fret higher, right? Because you're moving the whole shape. So it's going to stay there. So now we have a G, right? Because it's D, up two frets, E, up one fret to the F, two more to the G. So now I've got a D and a G, all with the D shape. I don't have to change anything, okay? Now, if I go one step higher, okay, or I'm sorry, two frets higher, one whole key or one whole step, I've got an A. I like the picking on this A and G up here. I like it a lot, right? You can already hear how that adds a little bit of sort of kind of cool tone, right? So we go from up, 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 down, back down to a more kind of a what we're used to sounding D chord, right? So we have. And I mean, that alone would give us. I mean, that's just something, I don't know, whatever. I mean, I don't even know if that's a song. <laughs> Maybe you'll make it a song. But that gives us kind of a cool flavor, <clears throat> right? Now, what if we decided to throw in the good old open cowboy chords that we learned when we first picked up the guitar? Or in some of your cases, you're learning right now. So those open versions would be G, We're already playing our D open to give it that sort of texture, right? Going from up here to down there. So let's add the A and the G. Now think of the possibilities we have. I'll just play a couple, right? So we can go D, A, D, A, G, D. G. I mean, I could have gone on all night because now we have one, two, three, 
for five chords that we can play with. Even though we're only playing two chords, we're playing different versions of them, so now we've expanded our vocabulary, so to speak, all right? And we can make, as you've seen, some really interesting phrasings and little melodies with this. Now, for me, um, when I discovered this, I was just thrilled to bits. I thought, this is great because, you know, for months I had just been, you know, right? As any beginner does. And all of a sudden I realized I don't have to learn a new chord. I just slide this one up and I got these cool sounds. At the time I had started writing and I'd written a song in uh, DG with the verses and then like the little chorus went D, C, G, back to the D. And it, this just kind of came to me. So I used this philosophy to put sort of like an intro to the song. And I also came up with, I used the same thing as like a turnaround after each verse. So instead of starting my song in D, which I was doing, right? I wish I was young again, yeah. Mom's embrace, feeling daddy's face, kind of. Like that DG thing going on, all right? At the beginning of it, instead of just sort of noodling on the D, okay, I thought, hmm, well, I like the sound of this. So I did. And I kind of got a little quicker each time. Then I started into my... Wish I was young again, yeah. Mom's embrace, feeling daddy's face kind of... Right? So I just used that little extra kind of phrasing here, higher, at the beginning. And then as a turnaround. And it really took the song to another level, right? So maybe there's something in there for all you writers out there that you can pluck out of this, right? But it's just a cool thing. And for beginners and, well, for all of us, it's a great practice tool because what we're doing is we're actually having to fret from the open positions that we've been learning up here and land on, nail it, okay? So that right there is is a difficult thing. So we're, we're going up six, seven frets and reforming a chord. So it's great practice. And lastly, I'll leave you some tips, right? So when you're, we, you know, we've already kind of mentioned this, is make sure that, you know, you can look at your dots. Use those dots as your guide. So we know that these fingers, if I put my, the, these two fingers in that seventh fret where the dots are, there's my G, okay? Ninth fret would be the A. Right, so use those dots when you're sliding everything up. And you know that when you see that dot, you stop. Your first fingers, first two fingers are in that fret of the dot. Everything will sound just great, okay? So give that a try. Maybe put some of it into your practice routine. And again, beginners don't get overwhelmed, right? If it was, and it is going to be too much. But trust me, you will be there soon, okay? All right, well, listen, um, if you haven't already, if you like what you hear and you haven't already subscribed, why not, right? That's what I guess we're all here for. And apparently the more subscribers you have, the, the bigger you get, <laughs> the more popular it becomes. I don't know. So if you like what you hear and see, absolutely, hit subscribe. I post uh, videos pretty much every other day, sometimes every day. Uh, so it's always growing. Check out some of the Gizmo videos, too, for those of you that you may not be ready yet. But um, moving forward, things like looper pedals and plugging in your acoustic guitar and how to 
create a sound for yourself. There's some uh, how to record yourself. There's a couple of videos about that, and I will be adding to that repertoire as well. So once again, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you down the road.